President Trump's executive order on refugees and foreign travelers has sparked a lot of emotional reaction. But let's take a step back and break down the facts, not just deal with phobias. The order suspends the refugee program for 120 days, okay? It caps refugee admissions at 50,000 a year. That will be a major drop from the almost 85,000 refugees who entered the U.S. in 2016. It also cuts the Obama administration's ceiling of 110,000 a year in half. President Trump's executive order also bars citizens from seven Muslim-majority countries from entering America for 90 days, three months. Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. In 2015, about 84,000 people from these countries entered the U.S. mostly on tourist, business, and student visas, the majority traveling from Iran and Iraq. All right, let's look specifically at Syrian refugees. President Trump went a step further there. There's an indefinite ban on anyone fleeing persecution in Syria. Last year, the U.S. accepted around 12,600 Syrians, second only to refugees coming from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. You will hear that Christians can't get out of Syria, but Muslims can get into the U.S. That's not true. Equal amounts of each got into the U.S. last year. So how many terror attacks have refugees actually carried out in the U.S.? According to the conservative-leaning think tank, the Cato Institute, of the more than 3 million refugees admitted from 1975 to the end of 2015, 20 were terrorists, amounting to 0.00062%. Of those 20, only three attacks were successfully carried out. Three people lost their lives. So how many Americans have been killed by citizens of these countries? None. From 1975 through 2015, Cato Research says none. That same figure from Saudi Arabia, 2,369. From the UAE, 314. Egypt, 162. Why? All of these countries were home to the terrorists who carried out the 9-11 attacks, and none was targeted by this ban. Also not on the list, countries where President Trump appears to have business interests. So finally, Let's take a look beyond all the heated rhetoric. How big is the actual threat here at home? Let's be honest, that's what this is about, the fear, right? According to Cato, the chance of an American being killed by a foreign-born terrorist is one in 3.6 million. Looking specifically at refugees, that statistic jumps to one in 3.64 billion, with a B. 2015 data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention shows us you're actually more likely to die being struck by lightning, being hit by a bus, falling out of your bed, than you are of dying in a terror attack. The number in that study, by the way, that Cato did does not include the 14 killed in the December 2015 shooting in San Bernardino. However, if you put that number in, it's still lower than the other causes of death listed.